Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of What Talk Bashing. Um, today I got a real show you. I'm gonna do a little unboxing, my first impression of it. Throw some line on it. Um, change what, what I use for backing. Um, how I do it. How you tie a leader on. Um, a little bit about it. And in a couple of weeks I'll change what I think about it. Or a, or a month or so. So we're around in there. Um, I'll let you know what I think about it. It's a co new company been out for uh, three or four years, I guess. Um, but they are a little newer. They still ain't huge. They're, a lot of people have been putting stuff about them up on YouTube here lately. Um, I needed a reel. It's something a little cheaper. They're, it's a From what I hear, I, I got a buddy that's got a torrent and another reel they make. And he's also got a different model they make. And they're supposed to be really good. He had nothing but high praises for it. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright y'all, we got the Piscophone Phantom. Um, it says Piscophone goes family. Phantom, 7 to 1. Exceptionally smooth, ultra light. Six stainless steel ball bearings, one roller bearing. Aircraft aluminum main gear, which is awesome. Most of them have brass and they hold up pretty well. Um, I just, I like aluminum main gears better um one piece carbon fiber frame it is actually carbon fiber it is not um graphite i had it open once just to look at it already um dual brake system has centrifugal and magnetic brakes which is awesome normally you're going to pay 100 150 dollars for something like that um with dual braking systems it has a machined aluminum spool, which looks awesome. It's great. Um, triple carbon fiber drag system. That is awesome. That's great. It's supposed to have 18, 17 or 18 pounds of max drag. Compact bent extended carbon handle. The handle is actually carbon fiber too. This thing is supposed to come in. Right here they are. Let's see what she said. Bearings seven gear ratio seven zero to one um, retrieve per turn is 30.3 inches per turn of the handle. The main drag max is 17 pounds, it's supposed to weigh 5.7 ounces. Um, the mono capacity 10 pound test 120 yards. Brake capacity, 30 pound test, is 120 yards. So you hold a good bit of line. Um, let's get her open. Real. Has this little nice, stretchy, I know what it's called. But I can't remember right now what the material is. It feels really high quality. Piscophone right there. This right here, and you put it on, you slide your reel in. Leave your handles out right here. Well, your reel seat sits here. Well, you can put this on with it on your rod, which is awesome because if some people like me don't like their stuff to get, their reels to get all scratched up just in case they resell them or something. This right here is great. Set that to the side. Pull the reel out. 
send you a little Piscophon sticker. There we go on the boat. If I like the reel. So let's get the reel out. Okay. Move the box out the way. That was almost bad. Almost got it. Now, it does need a little grease right there. It's greasy and all. That's the noise you're hearing. It ain't loose at all. It just needs a little lubrication. First thing I noticed on this reel that I really like is the oval shape uh, line guide. It helps with bird nests. It helps your line feed. Um, it, it just helps all around. I really like that. That was one of the things that first caught my eye with it. Second thing is the color. Black, green accents, carbon fiber handle, which actually feels real stout. I can't bend it. It is actually carbon fiber. You can see the layers. Get it to zoom in on it. You can see the layers there. My light's a little blurry, so I apologize. I like the green accents here, here. Um, tension knob has the same green accents on them. The spool. Tell you what I'm saying, but it has the same green accents. There is your magnetic brakes. They click pretty loud. Only 10, they've got that with green. Piscophone on the side. Tells you your line capacity. You hit the Automatically see itself. There we go. Upside down now. Bray. Gear ratio, seven bearings. Good loud. Click until it's engaged. There's no play. That is a rubber pad right there. A little bit of play back and forth, not much that I can't do. Real smooth. Real smooth. The EVA foam grips are actually soft. You know, sometimes you'll get a reel that has these and they're kind of hard. These are actually soft, like you can squish them in soft. 
get the side plate off, push the button in, pull down, pull straight up. Now, a video I've seen of somebody that done a review on this reel said it was hard to get that side plate off. There's your magnetic brakes. Right there. Your roller bearing. And there is your centrifugal braking system. Right there. It does have the red dot. The only thing about it, it's a little difficult to get into from the side, from with the spool still in. Back up at your, um, sorry. If you leave the spool in and do it, you, it ain't hard to turn. But you about got to use the actual indicator to do it. Okay. Fully ported spool. It is aluminum and good looking spool. This thing is really light. I'm actually really impressed with it so far. Um, a little bit of grease on it. It, is, it does come lubricated, everything, but there is a little grease there, but it ain't on there. I'm going to take a Q-tip and fix it. But, alright. 